is up friends my name is Laura if you've never visited my YouTube channel before welcome today I am coming to you from beautiful Sedona Arizona I'm going to be kicking off my hiking time here for a couple of days and going to be starting with Cathedral Rock I will be here for a couple days doing some amazing hiking around it is late September so absolutely perfect weather here so make sure you hit that subscribe button if you have not already Cathedral Trail is one of the most popular trails in Sedona just down there there is plenty of parking it is five dollars per car um, I actually lucked out I've done this a few times and I know there is some parking on the road so I was able to park right here so if you do see some parking on the road grab yourself a spot for free Don't let this trail fool you though. It is only 1.2 miles round trip, but it has over 700 foot vertical incline. So it definitely is a very steep. The good thing about it though, is that it has beautiful views the whole way. So I'm only a couple, you know, minutes in and I'm already seeing this. So you can always stop when you're tired. At the end of this video, I'm actually going to do a quick little kind of what's in my bag when I just go on these kind of shorter day hikes as well. So make sure you stick around for that. This trail also is dog friendly. So make sure you give this video a like if you've liked Thor being on it. Thor, say hi to YouTube. <laughs> What, like I said, is just so cool about this hike though, is just there are 360 views all around you at all times, the entire time you are climbing. So this will be the final little push here and then the spot will be right there for some more incredible views. job Thor you did awesome traditional spot to take pictures here right there on that ledge
So I am back at the trailhead, back at my car, and it was a beautiful hike. Um, how many people are actually at like the trailhead versus actually get to like the summit, kind of the end of the trail there are a lot fewer. A lot of people just go halfway and stuff. So if you, it looks overwhelming at the front and at the very beginning, um, and you're like, I don't want to be too packed up there, definitely don't be too scared. It don't, won't be. <laughs> A lot of people do ask me a lot kind of what kind of day bag that I do use. I'm a pretty big Osprey lover. Um, I do have three different bags, like one for longer backpacking, one for kind of overnight or long days, and then one just for shorter. And that one typically is if I know the weather is going to be okay, I don't need to add in a lot of jackets. And a lot of times when Thor is not going to be with me because I've had to put Thor in my backpack a few times when he's too tired. So my smallest one isn't actually able to do that. When I'm with Thor, I actually, I'll, I'll link this on Amazon, but it honestly just attaches to me like this. And then it's just a little doggy bowl and I just easily add water. And then I have my bag here. I normally will have my 36 liter when I'm going on day packs like this. And that is the Osprey. Um, and I've been very happy with this. Osprey is an, a lifetime warranty. Absolutely love it. Uh, 10 out of 10 recommend. And I've probably had it for about a year and a half and literally have had zero problems. I also will typically, if it's a longer day hike, we'll have some sort of sandwich as, as well as quite a few snacks. For a shorter hike like today, I just had like one cliff bar in there, but I didn't actually even eat it. I also bring plenty of water. You also never know if someone, you know, is out of water along the way and you want to give them a water bottle. A lot of times I'll see hikers just bring one little water bottle and it's a really long day and I can see that they're out. So I normally offer them a water bottle. So I not only will have my large camel back, which is two liters in my backpack, and I will always make sure it's full. I will have one water bottle for Thor that I can add this into and as well as kind of just always a spare water bottle in there in case I come across someone. If you guys would like me to put together a full list and a full video of exactly everything that I will have all the time in my day bag, because of course there's some other little things in there as well, just comment that below and I will make sure to make that one of my next videos. Thanks so much for watching guys. Keep living life. Bye.